Here's a funny story. A politician was praising his wife after coming home from a 12-hour night shift. And she was shoveling the snow in front of the house. And because of that, everyone on Twitter got upset. Now, what's interesting is that when I looked at the people who got upset, there's a lot more progressives that are upset over this than you have conservatives. And that is very telling, isn't it? Because gender equality, more like gender privilege. And it makes sense if you understand human history and you know anything about the human psyche. Throughout history, you have powerful cultural shifts that happen almost overnight. Like, for example, with communism in Russia. You have a very pious nation that praises itself on Christianity and you have a strong aristocracy. And communism comes along and tries to flip that over. All of a sudden, you have state-mandated atheism and you have uh, the idea of equality and, and no more aristocracy. But what happens is like people still cling to the old definition. So now, yeah, sure, people aren't believing in aristocracy, but they're worshipping the party members. They're, they're worshipping the people in charge. Uh, people are atheists, but... Well, they can't call it Santa Claus, and instead they can call it Old Man Winter, and, and they have like all these other superstitions that are tied into something else. And it's very similar with feminism. Like what, what feminism in the West is trying to do is to empower women and make them like men. So now it's the woman's responsibility to go out and work and provide the wage for her family. But at the same time, they still cling to the old traditions. Like this for progressives is not okay. It's not okay for the woman to be outside shoveling the snow while the man is cooking breakfast. So they're absolutely outraged because of this. Uh, the woman places in the HR, it, on, on the CEO board, it's not to shovel snow. And the man's place is to go out and shovel snow, it's not to make breakfast. It, it, it is beautiful when you notice it. In reality though, I will tell you this. You can't really judge a couple based on a picture. Like if you don't know the person, you, you don't know what's going on. What if she is just trying to make a surprise for the husband? Like, what, what if she came home after a 12-hour night shift in which she slept mostly because doctors can't sleep at the hospital if there's no cases, like they even have a bed made for that purpose. So what if she came home from work and uh, she wants to do a lovely surprise for her husband and she's shoveling the snow and the husband is grateful? Like, why take that away from her if she wants to, to do it as a surprise? I mean, maybe the husband was shoveling snow every single day up till that point. And one day she comes home and wants to do that. Or you don't know what type of understanding they have. And uh, maybe he gets to make breakfast and she gets to shovel the snow because she wants to. I mean, look, I, I was put in a similar situation. For example, I don't like gardening. And I told this to my wife. Like, look, woman, I don't have a green thumb. Like, every plant that I touch withers and dies. And my wife comes from a rural area and she really loves gardening. So she wants to plant something. And I'm like, look, I'm not planting it. I, I'm not doing it, okay? I don't like it. And she's like, oh, that's fine. I'll do it. So she goes and plants that thing. And all the neighbors were like, oh, my God, a woman with a shovel. Oh! And, and it's like, dude, you don't know what's going on. And i like, it's not that I don't have the possibility of hiring a gardener. It's just that I would feel it's wasted money. I don't want to do it. I, so it is what it is. But it, it, it's understandable when the people in Romania who are conservative, they're the ones like freaking out. It's like, oh, the gender roles. Why is it the man out with the shovel? Oh, the world is burning. Uh, but when you see progressives on Twitter freaking out, it's beyond hilarious. I mean, these are the ones with female empowerment. Like, look, look how empowering she gets to be. And it's even funnier because he is the one making her the breakfast. So the roles are reversed. But it, it's kind of in a nice, sweet way. I mean, I, I don't view this as a problem. Tell me you're a terrible husband without saying you're a terrible husband. Right. Unless John has a good excuse for taking this pick and not helping as well. Like, all of these are check marks, by the way. Uh, he'll become a noun for women who compromise nearly half of the U.S. force. You're still fulfilled majority of the household chores i'll tell you something about the household chores as well because they're not really equal you know like it depends on the type of person like if you have a wife 
which is a clean freak. Like, like she wants everything neat and tidy. And the husband doesn't care, like he's a slob. He leaves the socks everywhere in order to mark his territory. I mean, obviously the husband is not going to do much of the cleaning in that situation. Because if it doesn't bother you, you're probably not going to do it. So, you know, like that can possibly cause scandals, but what can you do? It's between the couple. Like You're not going to have like uh, the, the moral busybodies enforcing their will upon that household. It's like, no, the man needs to work more. Like, fuck you, I don't want to. What are you going to do about it? Now, from my personal experience, overwhelmingly women are more neat freaks than the men. I don't know why this is, but this is probably why women still do most of the housework. Because, yeah, men don't want to be tidy. Now, there are exceptions, of course. I know a lot of men who are insanely neat freaks, and, and they're the ones that are arguing that the wife isn't doing more in the household. But again, like, this, this is between the individuals. Like, this is what happens in their private time. Why do we as a society get to judge what people do in their private time? In this case, yeah, you should judge, because he's a politician, and he, he wanted to make this moment public, so feel free to judge. But, like, I, I'm talking when you're, oh, the women and the workforce and what they do in the household. That's none of your fucking business what they do in the household. Okay, when they enter the household, that's it. Their public life is over. Their private life begins. I love this. Her hands look like this, so mine can look like this. Yes, beautiful. And you took a picture instead of helping her. Heterosexuality is terrifying. Again, like, notice it's the left that's whining and complaining. Like, it's not the conservatives that have a problem with this. And again, like, you don't know what this guy did 10 days ago. Like, maybe 10 days ago, he was fixing the car in the cold so that the wife can go to work using the car. Like, you don't know these things, but you like to moralize. I'm not sure, but I bet she would have preferred to come home to an already shoveled driveway after that 12-hour shift. I mean, the guy is a politician. Maybe he also had a 12-hour shift. And I don't care what she would like. Uh, she would like to come home. <laughs> Well, I, I genuinely, like, uh, find it amusing about this trying to push gender privilege. Like, she needs to be like the queen, like the princess. Like, I mean, the guy's a politician. He's out earning her, okay? But, I, I mean, if, if we're going to bring income into it, it's probably evil, right? I mean, just because you make more money doesn't mean you don't have to shovel that driveway. <laughs> uh, and not to mention, like, shoveling the driveway. It's not, it's not even that hard. I mean, it's not like a job that requires necessarily brute strength that a woman can't do it. And not to mention the fact that it's fun. I mean, during the winter, you stay during the, in the house most of the time. It's like some exercise that you're doing. So, so it's not horrible. In his defense, maybe he put up a sign calling her a hero. Maybe he also gave her a t-shirt. Well, he did make her famous, so everyone is now approving this. Shoveling a clear path to a divorce lawyer. Th this is the insane world that these people live in. I mean, perverting human nature to the point where they think that the woman, unless she is being held as a queen and she never gets to do anything, uh, then clearly that is a toxic relationship and she needs to have a divorce. I mean, if she was the man and, and he was after a 12-hour shift and he was shoveling the, the front, yeah, no one would have complained. Because it's expected, right? But we live in a patriarchal, cisgender, capitalist, heteronormative culture. She's not shoveling the driveway. She's clearing a path to drag your dead body to the truck. Look, look at these people. My God. This would be my wife digging my grave. Well, I, I guess you don't know what it's like to have a woman that loves you. Uh, and just to point it out, like he, he's the one making her breakfast. Right? Like it's not that he is sitting there masturbating <laughs> also, and you don't know anything about these people maybe he is an asshole and, and the woman does everything well, what if the woman wants to do that like did you ever love someone like when you love someone and you want to do things for them and make them comfortable is that something that's evil now i mean it, it, unless like the other person does the exact same thing like different people express love differently you know like the idea that um for example you can be a man and you can love a woman and she can be unemployed, right? And you live together. And the man doesn't ask her to get a job. What man would do that with his own son? Like, think about it. Like, if your son is now 
25 years old, 30 years old, and is still living at home with the father. I mean, the father will start calling him a lazy bum. He would start being uh, angry towards the son. We're like, when are you going to get a job? Like, no, no man is going to put up with that shit. Right? But if you put up with that with a woman, like, no one is going to say, hey, well, hold on, hold on. This is not gender equality. You have to ask the woman to get a job. But yeah, I mean, all, all of the, these people asking for gender equality reveal themselves to be absolute hypocrites. And uh, it's interesting because, again, it's not the conservatives that are complaining, right? Because the conservatives are the one, no, like, the woman should be cooking the breakfast and the man should be shopping. I don't see them complaining. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.